Good to know. Next question. We are locked in at one apiece. Um, who said this? Republican or Democrat? In the next 10 years, during which they, Iran, might foolishly consider launching an attack on Israel, we would be able to totally obliterate them. Tina. Democrat. Tina. Quick hands, get you another point. That is correct. She has the lead two to one. Now, a chance to extend that lead or give Ted another chance to tie. Which prominent Democrat said that quote? Obama. Tina, that is incorrect. <laughs> Ooh, the quick hands. Oh, I know point. who it is. Wait, can I? Oh, nope. <laughs> no, you don't get to keep guessing. You don't get to no. just keep pissing <laughs> off people. Ted. You know what? You know what, Graham? The show is called Anything Can Happen, and I am gonna seed. I'm gonna seed my guess to, uh, to, to Tina and 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 oh! let her take us take a second guess. What? Clinton. Clinton. <laughs> Clinton. Oh, Clinton. Oh God. Clinton. Clinton. No. Can we? I mean, is, let the is, point? is it not anything can happen? Do I have the wrong? Am I on the wrong show? <laughs> well, no. He's right, Ron. I guess he can just give up his question to the next. Are we gonna allow this, Ron? I don't know. We've been I don't see to... why not. I mean, Only I, I feel I... like. Can I still get a guess if it's if she's wrong again? Yes. Or is it another okay. guess if she's wrong again? I guess. <laughs> Unless sure. you want to see a third guess to her. Oh, I mean, just I don't wanna... Wanna... No, <laughs> my this point. To, my mean... benevolence ha does have its limits, as, <laughs> uh, as Abe would say. That's so clearly a married guy. How, how just Adam like... Smith of you? My That's benevolence. Guy. Right. Move, let it right. be known. Ted has benevolence. <laughs> just let her take it. I got to pick up the kids in an hour. Just go. Um, all right, Tina, you have a shot. You have a second guess. I, I'm is? going with Clinton. Which one? Oh, ooh. fuck. Uh, yeah. Oh, ooh. Hillary. Guess what? Not sure. You just expanded your lead three to one. That was correct. Oh. That was, I, Hillary Clinton. Can I take it back? <laughs> And yeah, I know, Ted. What were you thinking? What were you, um, yes, she said He's that. He's being chivalrous. Chival, chival, I can't get that word out. Chivalrous. Perfect. That was, <laughs> Nailed that it. Was, perfect. Um, we're, wow. we're all, we're a big fan of firsts on this show. And, and that was the first. This is the first time where somebody said, you know what? No, let them, let them go. Give them well, you, ta one. you talked about a big comeback last week, so I'm I'm just laying the groundwork for for another another right. big comeback. Oh, this is some sort of like, like Ali rope a dope thing where you let the guy <laughs> count you and then they get it tired. Could happen. Okay, all right. I like, wow, this is this is exciting, Ron. This is why anything can happen. We've never seen a guy just give up a point like that. Fantastic. <laughs> if he comes back and wins, it's the most amazing thing we've ever seen. If he loses by a point. He's going to hang himself, right? He's <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's on the table. Well, you know, I leave a <laughs> anything can happen. That's <laughs> one option. I don't, want I don't want anybody ill will, but if it boosts our numbers, I'm not going to say no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I understand. Just no tag it in the suicide note. That's all I ask. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to guess Bill. <laughs> no, no. Because it seems so obviously Hillary after the fact. Sometimes you just have to think a second more, I think. That's all you need. And one more second of thinking. Well, Tina, you have the lead three to one. Thanks to Ted. Thank you, Ted. Thank you, Ted. <laughs> giving the ball up on the one yard line. But here we go. Um, another, another. Another question. Anything could happen. Or Ted could get two points and tie it. Tina could take a, a four-point lead. Anything, anything, Ron, could happen. <laughs> Which prominent Republican or Democrat said this? Peace is not absence of conflict. It is the ability to handle conflict by peaceful means. Tina. Democrat. No. Oh, damn. All right. Act. Well, I just gave one back to Ted then because there's only yep. one other option. Well, he's Republi yeah. Republican. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Everybody has tried that every every uh, match so far. Every, yeah, that it doesn't work that way. But I sold I sold her. <laughs> no, no. Ted's hoping he can get some sort of generosity after giving that point that last point up. <laughs> <We're just> like, <laughs> um, I was the best at yes anding it though. 
That's, that should be a half point. <laughs> oh, you're making your improv instructor proud. Um, so, Ted, here's how it goes. She, since she picked incorrectly, obviously it's a Republican. So hmm. you have a chance to pick up a point. If you can name which prominent Republican said the quote, I'll even read it again for you. Peace Please. is not absence of conflict. It is the ability to handle conflict by peaceful means. How does that I even mean, make sense? Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I, that's what was going through my head is it's horseshit, like, no matter who, <laughs> no matter who said it. Uh, exactly. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to – gosh, I don't know how far back to go. Uh, I'm going to say that is – uh daddy george uh george bush that's a first. solid guess george herbert walker bush that is a solid guess it does sound it very neoconservative incorrect oh tina you have a chance incorrect. to get the point of thing. No, it's still hanging up there which prominent republican said it mm -hmm. can you say it one more time just so i can get the whole gist of the cognitive dissonance <laughs> <laughs> This is, peace is not absence of conflict. It is the ability to handle conflict by peaceful means. Oh, man. This is a tough one. All right, I'm going to go with son Bush. George W. Bush. Yes. That is incorrect. You both had a stab at it. Ron Placone, tell him which oh, Republican man. said this marble-mouthed kind of veiled yeah. threat sounds like a peaceful thing. Yeah, I was going to say, like, that's sort of the theme of the show. You both were like, yeah, this sort of sounds like bullshit. Yeah, we don't want people walking away going like, wow, what brilliant leaders we've had. They're all great. <laughs> but, uh, you, those were both excellent guesses, but you didn't go back quite far enough. That was Ronald Reagan. Mm. Oh! Yeah. The monster in chief. Of course it was. Good old Cold War threat. Good they old Cold War Reagan, flash. yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he yeah, could okay. turn a phrase too, you know, oh, as, 100%. As, loath as loathsome as he was, he, you know, he, he could read a teleprompter he could <laughs> until the end. Yeah. Right. Well, it was just like saying, that's well, such, that's such a saying. Hunter Thompson quote right there. Like as loathsome yeah. was he, as he was, he could read a teleprompter. That's like Hunter Thompson. Like <laughs> he was an asshole, but he knew a lot about football. Like, right. <laughs> Well, no points were scored in that round, Ron. Uh, Tina, three to one. A lot of exciting back and forth in that one, but no points. That was a tough one. That was a tough was one. Tough. All right, next question. Who said this? Republican or Democrat? The good Lord didn't see fit to put oil and gas only where there are democratically elected regimes friendly to the United States. Occasionally. We have to operate in places where, all considered, one would not normally choose to go, but we go where the business is. Ted. George W. Bush. I oh. feel like the good good Lord thing. So you're saying the party? Uh, oh, shit, man. I'm sorry. I jumped the gun. Uh, Republican. You jumped the gun. <laughs> Rep Republican. <laughs> all right. So that... That is correct. Remember now, raise your hand. Let, let uh, Ron pick you. That is correct. Republican. Now, Ted, a chance to tie the game and pick up a second point. Which prominent Republican said that? I'm going to I'm going to stick with what I said, uh, though. I have a feeling it's wrong. George W. Bush. Your feeling is correct. That is wrong. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that feel. Thank you. Thank you. I got some affirmation in my. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tina. I have no flipping idea. Ted has. I think it's older. I think it's an older one. Say, All right, read it one more time. It's about oil and war, obviously. So George W. would be the obvious choice, but it seems like it's stretching further back. The good Lord didn't see fit to put oil and gas where there were only a democratically elected regimes friendly to the United States. Occasionally, mm. we have to operate in places where all considered one would not normally choose to go, but we go where the business is. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just obviously Trump or something. Oh, this I don't I actually don't know. All right. You know, what, I'm going to go with Trump just because I have no idea. <laughs> That is incorrect. You were 
Ted was the closest. Ron, tell him how close he was. Ted was very close, but when he said jumping the gun, he was on to something because Dick Cheney said that, Graham. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm being an idiot. I was thinking it had to be a president. You're right. It could be any prominent. So was I. So was I. I was yeah. yeah. All right. For whatever okay. reason, I was I was locked into presidents. I was locked because into presidents too. We've already Cheney. Had oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Who was not yeah. president? She said that. You're right. She was totally stew. Totally she stupid. was my president, Graham. Oh, she was god. my president. She's oh, still god. my president. Stop still withering over there. Russia was. She's my president. Okay, Ron, <laughs> cut out. With the, the still dogs, withering. she's their president too. They're barking because they're like, no, yes, she's my president. <laughs> Hypatia's like, bitch, no. Um, I, all that's right. My dog okay. Bernie okay. and Jill Stein blocked the entrance to Michigan. They had no right doing that. <laughs> Do you right. need some wine with that wine? <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Hillary Clinton supporter, for coming on our show and blaming everybody <laughs> but yourself. We really appreciate that. It's it's like Queen Pumala over there. It's fantastic. All right, Tina. How's the like weather to... in Moscow? It's <laughs> <laughs> actually really warm. I had Susan Dawson on my show the other day. Very warm. It's <laughs> all Susan Sarandon's fault. <laughs> it's definitely. <laughs> um. All right, Tina has the lead three to two. Ted did pick up a point. Cutting yeah, the he picked up a point. Oh, man. Ooh, All right. This is exciting. Next question. Who said this? Republican or Democrat? We've become now an oligarchy instead of a democracy. I think that's been the worst damage to the basic moral and ethical standards to the American political system that I've ever seen in my life. Democrat. Oh, that did I jump the gun? Well, you got to raise your hand. Did you raise your hand and Ron called you? She, she raised her hand, yeah. She raised the I hand. raised my hand, but I spoke before he called me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. I thought it was almost time. simultaneous. We'll allow it. Okay. <laughs> like, what? Ah! All right, so your answer is, Tina? Democrat. That is correct. You just picked up a point. A chance yeah. to extend your lead even more. Tell us what, which prominent Democrat said that quote. Mm. Okay, Bernie Sanders is too obvious. Who else says oligarchy, though? Bernie's really not even a Democrat. Sorry. I, 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 I was, <laughs> okay, wine mom, knock it off. He ran as a Democrat. No, no, he, ruined, done, done. he ruined the party. <laughs> he, he only runs when as a Democrat when he wants to grift. You know that, wine mom. Um, <laughs> he uses the party. Ah, shit. Who else would say oligarchy, though? Um... Hmm. Can you read it one more time? Sorry. Yes. We've become now an oligarchy instead of a democracy. I think that's been the worst damage to the basic moral and ethical standards to the American political system that I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I'm going to go with Bernie Sanders just because I'm drawing a blanket. Who else it could be? But I don't think that's right. That is incorrect. <laughs> you now have a chance to pick another point back up. All right, Ted. I'm, I'm going to go with with the uh, the other politician in that camp, uh, if they are in, in a camp, Elizabeth Warren. Oh, that is, oh, that is an excellent, excellent Incorrect. guess. Incorrect. Oh, shit. <laughs> which Democratic president said that? <laughs> well, those were uh, – Was, those that, were was that how it was phrased? Was it phrased Democratic president? No. Oh, okay. No, I okay. don't think he didn't say that. Oh, okay. it, it, I was just saying, are we that? Democratic president. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, I mean, those were both excellent guesses. And I like how Tina was saying, like, who else would say oligarchy? Because you were onto something because we got to go back a while for someone who would say something like that. Jimmy okay. Carter said that quote. Jimmy Carter. Oh, Jimmy uh, Carter. No, yeah. That is, okay. that is an interesting observation. Post-1980, you don't hear presidents saying stuff like that, do you? No. No. Yep. And Jimmy Carter was uh, in the White House for one term and the CIA sabotaged his attempt to save the hostages and because he was anti-war. And that's why they got him out there. And when guys say oligarchy, they lose their jobs. And that's why no one said it for 40 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, True. Yeah. All true. All right. Let's go to a new category. So what is oh, a new category? Tina has uh, the two point lead again, four to two. 
Ted had a chance to grab a point but couldn't quite get it. But Ron, <laughs> where are we Anything at? Anything can board? happen, Graham. Any <laughs> Anything can happen. Points are on the board. Still Thank a you. lot of game left. A lot of game left. We're gonna go to it. Our um, we're gonna go to uh. We have a new category we haven't done. Uh oh. Um, this is a politician or supervillain. Uh, <laughs> Wait, that's what? That's oxymoronic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let me see. Where? Let me get to that category here. Sorry. Uh, politician or supervillain? I will name. Both. An that they did that they did that they did and you tell me and it's the same it's a very similar thing to republican or democrat so you pick a uh, politician or supervillain and if you're right you have a chance to guess the actual politician or supervillain who said it and if that's wrong the other person has a chance to steal the point so, so by supervillain you mean supervillain you mean like the joker Yes, from a, like a comic book, a comic book character, like from the Joker, okay. um, one of those evil people, probably from either the major movies that have come out or the comic books, but more than likely from the movies. Just to give you, I'm not okay. going to go so nerd on you that you can't, like you got the <laughs> comic nerd. I actually might have a better chance at the nerd thing than the movie thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. Am super I? villain or politician. And then, of course, no. another point is on the board if you name the villain or politician. Right. So that's so how, if you get that's it how right. we get the two points. Yep. You could you could pick up two points in this, or it could split. One of you could each get a point. So who am I? I contaminated a city's water with an agent to make people destroy each other. Tina. Super villain. That is correct. Mm. I mean, for a second, there was like Flint water crisis, but then I'm like, no, that's, that's what a I super villain. <laughs> yeah. I could have done that. Could have gone that way. <laughs> um, oh, God, which one? Which super villain? Oh, I have no idea. So could it be the guy from Chinatown, per se? And I can't think of his name. The guy from Chinatown? Does that qualify? Yeah, the movie Chinatown. It's the only movie I can think of that's about water. <laughs> um... Again, it's, from a, it's a comic book. Too highbrow. Comic book Too highbrow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is a comic book. This one is? Wait. No, they're all are. The category, it's says comic book supervillain. So it's it's an actual oh, comic oh, 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 I got you. Okay, I misunderstood that. I, I don't know. I'm not a Joker. The Joker is the only one I can think of. That I just lost my nerd card. Just lost your nerd card. Ted, you have a chance to pick up this point. Which supervillain contaminated a city's water with an agent to make people destroy each other? Man, you know, part of me feels like it was whatever the name of the character that Willem Dafoe played in one of those movies, but I can't. He was on a hoverboard, right? I can't oh, remember yeah. for the life of me. I can't remember <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. supervillain. So uh, I'm going to go with... Um, Alfred Molina as uh, as Doc Ock. Oh, is that, right? that is a good choice. That is a very good choice. I know but it's coming. <laughs> Willem Dafoe. Uh, it was, but that's incorrect. <laughs> that's absolutely <laughs> incorrect. That was actually Liam Neeson's character, Ra's al Ghul, in Batman. Oh. Contaminated Gotham's water supply, and then yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew uh, it was Batman. Get, I couldn't figure his... out which one it was. And didn't he have to get his child back too from what or that's a different Liam Neeson movie? <laughs> that's, 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 that's different. <laughs> I'm confused. He was, he was president and somebody came on his plane. <laughs> right. That's the one. And there were snakes. There were snakes there were on snakes. that plane. Yes. These are all valid answers. That and then the dinosaurs out. came back. And the <laughs> <good> movie. Yes. <laughs> the dinosaurs came back. Or we would have accepted when Barack Obama <laughs> drank flint water and lied that it right. was good or we would have accepted that as <laughs> i'm thirsty yeah <laughs> this is not a stunt wow <laughs> yeah that was bad oh tina has expanded her lead though five to two ted 
clock is ticking on you coming mm. from behind here. All right, I'm locked in now. Anything can happen. Ted's been a Anything. little shy on the hand racing. He may change that strategy up at any moment. Oh, now, are you trying to like give him a hint of what to do there, Ron? No, <laughs> I, it just it's happened uh -huh. before. This feels like it might be pulling a Chris Mohan on us, but we're not sure. But although, but we cannot predict Ted because he might deliberately not answer any any more questions as he was the guy who gave up a point early on, which we've never had happen. So this is going to be like, I can name that answer in two words and then you just <laughs> guess 50%. <laughs> Well, Pretty two much. things. Two things. These are, these aren't even actually my my hands. Uh, I have to come clean. Are... Uh, my my hands are are down below. Uh, that's first. And secondly, uh, um, no, I, I I do think um, I, I like I like to come from behind, but also I think that uh, I, I'm trying to demonstrate. I'm trying to model an anti capitalist thing where it's not all about winning all the time. Like, how can we like help? How can we build community? You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to model so for, for people. <laughs> this is Com the first ever sort Maya, of my friend. episode of Anything Can Happen. <laughs> this is fantastic. Um, all right. <laughs> Thank you for this. this. Maybe, Ron, I don't know. Maybe we need to restructure the whole show. Maybe this is just too capitalist. People there could be. I mean, we could see an episode where they like refuse to advance without each other. Like, I won't get another point oh, until they do. Wait. They do. Ted, there's always five, prisoner's five. dilemma. <laughs> Send we work both people tandem. their box of ramen. Oh, no. Everybody wins. <laughs> That's right. That's right. This is. Oh shit! Another another world is possible. <clears throat> An another game show is possible. Another. <laughs> uh, all right. So maybe maybe this episode will end in a sit-in. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's going to end in a drum circle. It's going to end in a drum circle. All right. Get your head of tattoos ready for the final round, everybody. Oh, shit. All right. All right. Woo! Here we go. Um, whether or not you want these points, they are available on this next question. Um, <laughs> who did this? Politician or supervillain? I secretly and illegal, illegally bombed a country using code names breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, supper, and dessert. Ted. I'm going to go politician. Ted Alexandro, you just got yourself a capitalist point. Way to go. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I'm conflicted, but uh, it does feel good. I have to, I have to be honest. Now, Ted. A chance to get another point an inch closer. Which politician commits this act? Oh, uh, gosh. All right. I will go with Richard Nixon. Ted Alexandro, you just picked up a second point. Congratulations. Whoa. <laughs> I actually wow. knew that one. <laughs> It says Nixon's illegal bombing of Cambodia called yep. Operation Menu. And literally these names sound like a crazy cartoon character's evil plan. But no, that's no. our commander in chief in the 70s. Um, oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm in uh, trouble. Somebody's asking in the chat. It's not to repeat. It's not the quote, but here's what it is. I uh, So Nixon secretly and illegally, he, without the con he didn't ask Congress uh, if he bombed uh, uh Cambodia and he used code names it was called Operation Menu and each one of the bombings were the code names were breakfast lunch snack dinner supper and dessert <laughs> that's fantastic and then uh, they gave Kissinger a Nobel Peace Prize yep then Kissinger got a peace prize so because that at, a sense. at a luncheon ironically <laughs> <At a Yeah>. <laughs> 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 oh wow! <laughs> huh? You have a we have in there, Hank, a little snack. <laughs> and he passed the passed like the bread over the table. <laughs> 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 they laugh. You know, that's how these guys were nuts. They were funny. Um, all right, now that Ron, that was in, that was crazy. What just happened? Ted is now that got was crazy. One closer. Yes. 
Ted's employing some reverse psychology here. First, he does some anti-capitalist speech, and then he sweeps right. two points. And then I, I, the I like, round. slow down on my, and next All thing I know. All part of the plan. I see what you're doing there, Sun Tzu. <laughs> <laughs> the, art of, the art of war. <laughs> all right. Now it's becoming I a I see blood. you. Um, all right. Next person. Now, this was this a politician or super villain? I laughed when told an adversary was killed and said, quote, we came, we saw, he died. Politician or supervillain? Tina. Politician? That is correct. Oh, every time Ted gets close, Tina tacks on another point. Tina, a chance to pick up a second point. Hillary Which, motherfucking Clinton. That is motherfucking correct. Wow. You just defended your lead by two really quick. Yes. Upon uh, when she was Secretary of State of the Obama administration, when they had Gaddafi killed, which opened up a, a vacuum of power, which created open sex mark, slave trading, basically. Yeah. Uh, she was, when she was given the news, she said, we came, we saw, he died. And, <laughs> and she and laughed. And then she laughed maniacally. That yeah. quote was taken out of context. <laughs> you're just Why, angry. You're angry about a strong woman, and now you're mansplaining imperialism. Bitch, are, you, are you wait? Hang on. Are you mansplaining misogyny to me, a woman? <laughs> yes, I hope. I hope this character is doing that. Yo, mansplainer, mansplainer three thousand. Take a seat there. Slow well, down. You, you, well, you, you're assuming that Ron's character. <laughs> Was was a man. We don't. We have to give Ron a wide berth. The character he was just portraying could be, you know. Okay, totally fair. We will. We will never know. Said character is already back at brunch. We'll never know. No, nope. they left already. I wanted to ask how did that character identify itself, but uh, I guess we'll. They're at brunch. That's what we'll they're at brunch. All right. They rode off on a blue wave. They were. Yeah. <laughs> so actually Tina drinking up, card bordeaux the quickest uh, way to go nowhere <laughs> so uh <laughs> i just want kate to know that uh, tina actually picked up two points in that round so she should be up uh seven to four she had a five two points two sweeps in a row two big Doesn't sweeps happen often row. two sweeps in a row anything can happen anything can happen all right we are the, the clock is the clock is ticking on this, but it's exciting because big lead. Tina gets out to a big lead. Ted gets close. Tina gets out to another lead. Ted gets close again. This is exciting. All right, let's go to um. All right. Uh, all right, let's go. All right, we'll go into another category. Um, okay. let's go to people worth listening to. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is, these are actually like people that are, have done some decent stuff and it's, okay. and it's multiple choice. I will read what they've done or their quote. Uh, basically it's a quote. And then I will give you uh, four answers to choose from. And the first person to raise their hand, if they answer correctly, they get that point. If they answer incorrectly, the other person has a chance to pick up the point. But only one point is available in this round. People worth listening to. Um, property is theft was echoed first by which philosopher? A, Karl Marx. B, Plato. C, Pierre Joseph... Uh, Proud, how do you pronounce that one? Proudhon. Proudhon. And D, Popeye the Sailor. Ted. What? Can I ask for uh, the- I know uh, who said this. Can I ask for the quote uh, <clears throat> to be repeated, please? Yes. Property is theft was echoed first by which of these people? Karl Marx, Plato, Pierre Joseph Perón, Popeye the Sailor. A, Karl Marx. That is incorrect. Tina, you have a chance to steal this point and extend your lead to eight. Proud, proud home. That, Pierre. that is Sorry. correct. 
picks up the point. Oh, that <laughs> was so close. I would have said Popeye. The- Popeye. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, that would have been my second guess. I knew it wasn't Karl Marx. But I feel like I have the one up on Ted on this question. Ted doesn't know probably that I have a master's degree in philosophy, so this is totally unfair. <laughs> well, you know, well, you know what actually happened is that in an interview uh, once in the '90s, someone asked Popeye, "Is property theft?" And he just said, "I am what I am, and that's all that I am." And they're like, "Way to duck the question, <laughs> asshole! That's not <laughs> not what we were asking." But he we get so it. Good. You don't want to go there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I, w- <laughs> I was thinking of Richard Marx actually. <laughs> Which is a song lyric. I get it. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> He's Where, wherever property. you go, whatever you do, uh, property is theft. Is theft. <laughs> that was the first. That was the first draft. <laughs> yeah, I think that was in the liner notes of that album. If I'm not mistaken, uh, that was the name of the album, wasn't it? Property is theft. Property is theft. Yeah. Solid work. A solid work that was. <laughs> All right. Uh, People worth listening to. Here's a quote, and I will read for um, potential people who said this. We've brought into the idea that education is about training and success defined monetarily rather than learning to think critically and to challenge. Who said this? A, Chris Hedges. B, Cornell West. C, Noam Chomsky. D, it was on a Wheaties box. Ooh. Can you say... Uh, one more time, repeat Ted. the quote. Sorry, I have to raise my hand first. Sorry. Yeah, you can't just... <laughs> well, I have a guess. <laughs> All right. So, All right, did Ted, Ted, you already raised your hand? Okay. Yeah. All I, mean, right, I, ha- I have to just strategically. I have to. I have to keep guessing here. Uh, hey! I'm. I'm going to go with uh, C. Noam Chomsky. Ted Alexandro, that is incorrect. I'm so sorry. Quick hands. Whew have brought both fortune and fame in this particular episode. So I will read this again. Tina, you have a chance to pick up another point and extend the lead. We've bought into the idea that education is about training and success defined monetarily rather than learning to think critically and to challenge. Who said this? Chris Hedges, Cornell West, Noam Chomsky. It was on a Wheaties box. Chris Hedges. Tina, that's an excellent answer and correct. You have another point. Oh, my goodness. This is becoming just a... Tina's a, running away the with giveaway, this. The giveaway in that particular is that he uses the word monetary. I don't think Chomsky or uh, Cornell West would phrase it in those terms. I'm just uh-huh. saying. <laughs> you got the point. Is, isn't it enough? You don't have to... <laughs> you don't have to explain I, that I missed the obvious clue. <laughs> One contestant has a master's degree. One's been telling jokes in bars. See if you can figure out. (laughs) That's just wrong. (laughs) Oh, fantastic. This is, uh, this next question is worth six points. No, I'm kidding. All right. uh, All right. Let's go into. Ted, you're hilarious. (laughs) Um, All right. Pick now. Um, Who, who did this? I'm going to list something that they did, and you're going to you get to pick either KGB or CIA. It's real quick. <laughs> well, that should be good. And there's no if you get it wrong, there's no point to be had. Like if you get it right, you get the point. So if you're just you got to no second guessing. There's no there, it doesn't go to the other person if you pick right. okay. there's only two choices. So, okay. um, all right. They ran a dungeon called Cobalt where prisoners were kept in complete isolation and darkness. They were shackled while loud music, while loud noise or music played and all they had to use the bathroom was a bucket. Ted. KGB. No. <laughs> that is incorrect. That's, that's the CIA. Yeah, that's the CIA's bread and butter, Ted. That's that's mm. a thing to do. Um, I don't I don't believe that for a minute. <laughs> and they don't think it's torture. Yeah, yeah it's not torture. It's, it's, it's uh, freedom. It's freedom coaching is what it is. It's There's, fighting for freedom. It's, it's, like, uh, it's like a one-on-one uh, freedom personal trainer is what they're freedom- <laughs> That's right. That's right. 
Yeah, you get like a five pack with a freedom personal trainer. Right. Yeah, right. You get free five free pack for the price. <coughs> oh my god, yeah. you're killing me. Um, <laughs> Woo. All right. Was this CIA or KGB? By their own admission, many of their interrogators were known sadists with histories ranging from inappropriate detainee interrogations to anger management issues to sexual assault. Tina. CIA, again. Tina, you let the dogs out. That got a point right there. Congratulations. You just <laughs> 10 to 4. <laughs> Oh man, perfect. <laughs> that was great. I Yeah, can um, you hear my dog? She's flipping out. You know, I I thought that there was really no wrong answer to that one, right? You could flip a coin. Yeah. with what you described. Yeah, I mean, really, you no, could. That, that is true. It's just uh, the CIA actually has that formally documented. Yeah, that's like yeah. So the KGB, the KGB right. just kept shoddy. They kept shoddy documents. Yeah, they, they they're <laughs> not as good at record keeping apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's really that was good. always you know, that was always the yeah that was always the knock on the KGB is their record keeping was was very shoddy very shoddy yeah very shoddy. <laughs> All right, next question. This group did shitty things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pick one. Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was always the knock on the KGB that they really didn't detail how awful they were. That's a good. That's a good point. All right, now we've got. Let's go to another category. Let's go to um, politi Now this is. I'm going to give you a quote. You're going to. Is this either politician or song lyrics? And again, oh shit. Two points <laughs> should be good. Here, you get the. <laughs> Politic, you know, you say politician, you get a point for that if that's correct, and then the actual politician, you get a second point. And so this okay. is like we've done before. You could get one part wrong, right, and the other contestant can pick up a point if you get the second part wrong. So who said this quote? Politician or are these song lyrics? Um, I want you to want me, Tina. I want you to want me. It's a song. I need correct. you to need me. I'm trying to think of who it is. Yeah. Cheap trick. Two points. You got it. Ready yes. to go. <laughs> mm, I was I was gonna say Al Gore. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, we would have accepted John Kerry. <laughs> we would. <laughs> 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 He sang that in front of a Heinz factory. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's All hilarious. Right. I think we know we're probably going to win this, but we're going to just uh, since I know, I know we're going to do one more question. We're going to go back. Ever, has there ever been this this bad a, a, a bloodbath? Uh, no, oh, actually, yeah, <laughs> close. Are you serious? I legit thought I was going to lose too. That's the funny thing. <laughs> Um, either Jeff and Dave or, was almost at this. It was almost at this. This is yeah. eight points. I think theirs was like six point. Yeah, this Gareth. Is... Yeah, I think Gareth pulled out six at the end of it. But yeah. which? Hey, anything can happen. We got one more. Anything question. can happen. <laughs> one more question. We are going to go back to who said we're Democrat or Republican. So Ted, what's on the line here is to not be the biggest loss. But I don't know. Maybe that's. Maybe you want to. In your uh, socialist game show manifesto, you want to prove a point? I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> Most <laughs> gracious contestant in the history of the I'm gonna, show. I'm going to work backwards from the result. If if that if it winds up being that, then I'll I'll say that was my agenda all along. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, um, all right. Sorry. Who said this? Democrat. Or Republican. As a prosecutor and a law enforcer, I have a huge stick. Ted. I'm going to say Democrat. <laughs> Ted, that is correct. You got a point. To now get another point and be tied to the worst loss in anything can happen in history, or <sighs> give Tina a chance to have the biggest win ever, which prominent Democrat? said as a prosecutor and law enforcer, I have a huge stick. 
I'm oh, I'm sorry. feeling if I may. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a socialist, but there there are rules. <laughs> um I am getting strong oh, Kamala shit. Harris vibes. I'm gonna go with uh the vice president, former uh DA uh, <laughs> Kamala Harris. Ted Alexandro. Congratulations. That is correct. Kamala Harris nice. did say that. Oh, so now he only lost by six points. You have tied Gareth <laughs> for um, the worst crushing. But I must say, we do have a, a first, Ron. I believe 12 points is the most anyone's ever gotten. That is. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's the highest score ever. Oh. Now we have to we have to see whoever matches Tina's score will have to play Tina and oh, yes. Gareth and Ted have to play at some point. Yes, we do oh. have those are those are future contests. We do have to it'll have just a... be it'll just be riffing and then it'll be like we asked two questions and they tied. It was oh, wait, that's I think gonna I be need... the zero zero match. That'll be a zero zero okay. be Ted. I'm yeah. gonna like suggest that I play Dave Anthony because I wanna do that now. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave racked up some points. I mean, Dave was probably the second closest. I think, did Dave get 11? I think Dave got 11. I think Dave got 11. So, yeah, you and Dave. So, yeah, we could do that. We could do we, that. It would be, we this is how it would Dave go. Dave Tina. <laughs> well, I think I made my point, though, that it doesn't always have to be about winning. Sometimes it's about the relationships, <laughs> the, the, the friends we made along the way. Was that not a Richard Marks song as well? <laughs> 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 yes, that was on property is theft, I believe. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> yes. Which is his best album. Property I, is I'm a big fan of that album. Big we fan. That. Big fan. I mean, I stole I, that album, as a matter of fact, from a I, Sam Goody. <laughs> That's how he would have wanted it. I see. I see. Shit. <laughs> oh. Fantastic. Well, Ted, I know you got to go. Oh, but, uh, it's great having you on the show. Tell everybody where they can follow you and your work. So fun, guys. Thank you for having me. Uh, and congratulations to Tina. Um, the Lost Album. Uh, check it out, folks. Wherever you stream stuff, uh, I don't care if you steal it or, or not. Just listen to The Lost Album wherever you uh, find stuff. And I'm um, at Ted Alexandro on social media. Awesome. Ted, thank Thanks, you so Ted. much, man. We really appreciate it. Thanks for coming on the show. And my pleasure. And it's always good to it's always good to have a Richard Marx fan in the house. So we really uh, you're the best for Richard sure. Marx socialist we've ever had on the show. Yeah. <laughs> that that makes me feel good. I appreciate that. I know Richard there have been Mark's more socialist. than a few. <laughs> All right, Thanks, my friend. Guys. Thank All you right, so Ted, much. Have a great night. Well. Cheers. Uh Tina, congratulations. You're our winner and highest point. Total and loudest pets that we've ever had. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lucy can yeah, Hypatia's a little on like, a she's on a tear this evening. I don't know if there's a squirrel out there or what's going on, but yeah. Uh, well, Tina, thank you so much for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. This was super fun. And super uh, fun. tell everybody where they can follow all your work that you do as a journalist and activist and all that. So uh, my handle on Twitter is my name, Tina Desiree Berg. Uh, my podcast is District 34. And then I also do reporting for Status Coup. Um, and in fact, this week, we just released uh, a report, Jordan and I did on the West Virginia Democrats, where the uh, state party chair is going through the process of maybe being decredentialed de because of some racist comments that she made to the executive committee, basically stating that they've added a couple of uh, black women to the committee, but it's okay. Nothing's going to change because they're not giving any uh, voting rights, even though they, so it's just bodies added. So kind of wow. an explosive horrifying. Yeah. yeah it was, it's pretty bad. Some leaked audio. So um, that's up this week. And then um, also have a report on the three percenter militia coming out probably tomorrow, the next day. Nice. Well, nice work. Well, follow uh, what Tina's doing out there. She's doing great work. And of course we love status coup. We've had Jordan on the show many times. We're trying to set up, we've been trying to set up for months a game show with Jordan and Jen playing against each other, but their schedule oh, is not allowed. Yes. We're working. <laughs> we are working. That'd be hilarious, actually. <laughs> um, so, all right, Tina, thank you so much for right on. the show. Super we'll fun. See you soon. Thank you, sweetie. Thanks for watching, Oops. everybody. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood.
and rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, where you can support the show. Also, I have a Bitcoin wallet, a Bitcoin cash wallet, and an Ethereum wallet in the show notes. We're taking cryptocurrency. I have a Coinbase affiliation link. We're going to be getting on some other exchanges. So that's how you support the show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. YouTube is unsubscribing us at an alarming rate. I have a PayPal button at GrahamElwood.com. I even have a Venmo at Graham-Elwood. There's a lot of ways to support our show. We are getting crushed by YouTube. They're We've dipped under 73,000 subscribers because of YouTube. Thanks for supporting what we do.